Hello everyone. In today's video, we are having a problem that might look a little bit complicated, but it has a very simple and elegant solution. So we have 37 by 13 that is equal to 2 plus 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. And we need to find the values of x, y and z. As you can observe on the left side, we have a very simple fraction. On the right side, uh, we have a kind of a complex fraction, right? But don't worry, the solution is very simple. All we have to do is make the left hand side look just like the right hand side, right? On the right side, we have this structure, right? So we have to make sure that this left hand side will also resemble the right hand side so that we can, you know, compare both sides and find out the values of x, y, z. So how do we do that? So let us see. So I want to start from 37 by 13. Okay. So let's take 37 by 13 and let's convert this into a mixed fraction. So how do we do that? So we have to just simply divide 37 by 13. So we know that 13 twos are 26. So if you subtract, we get 11 here, which means 37 by 13. So this can be written as 2 and 11 by 13, right? So 2 is the whole number part, remainder is 11. So 11 over 13 is the remaining part. So what is 2 and 11 by 13? It is nothing but simply 2 plus 11 by 13, right? That is the meaning of mixed fraction, whole number plus the proper fraction. So it means that in the left hand side, in the place of 37 by 13, I can write 2 plus 11 by 13. I can write this okay and uh, instead of writing uh, right hand side again and again it's a long expression I have just copied it I will paste it here okay so things become easy for us now you can observe left hand side and right hand side so we see some similarities right so we have 2 plus here and 2 plus here okay so we need to make sure that both the sides expression should resemble the same so now we have to take care of 11 by 13 on the right side, we have 1 on the numerator, but on the left side, we have 11. So we want 1 to be on the numerator of the left side as well. So how do we do that? So we have 11 by 13. 11 by 13 can be written as 1 by 13 by 11. Why can we do that? Because we know that 1 by 13 by 11 means reciprocal of 13 by 11. So reciprocal of 13 by 11 is 11 by 13 isn't it so that is how we can write it so we have to do, do some little bit of modification here so we have 2 plus 11 by 13 can be written as 1 by 13 by 11 and the right side I will just paste it here okay now we need to take care of some more things here again here we have x plus something right and here we just have 11 by 13 so again we have to convert 11 by 13 into a mixed fraction so let us take 11 by 13 here so we have to divide 11 by 13 sorry <laughs> i mean 13 by 11 we have to divide 13 by 11 so we have 11 ones 11 and uh, 2 is the remainder which means 13 by 11 can be written as 1 and 2 by 11 or I can simply write it as 1 plus 2 by 11, right? 1 plus 2 by 11. So we'll do that here. We have 2 plus 1 divided by 13 by 11 will be replaced as 1 plus 2 by 11. Now, right side, we just have to copy and paste the thing. Okay, so we have the right side here. Now, again, we have to take care of that 2 by 11. Okay, we have to take care of 2 by 11 because on the right side the numerator is 1 and here the numerator is 2. So we have to make sure that we get the same numerator to compare. So how can we do that? So if you have 2 by 11, we can write it as 1 upon 11 by 2. So I have told you the reason already. So we are applying the same concept here. So now we have 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 by 11 can be written as 1 divided by 11 by 2. So we are almost there. Now we have to simplify this expression 11 by 2. Okay. So let us do it one more time and let's convert this into a mixed fraction. So 11 by 2. So if you divide 11 divided by 2, 2 5 is a 10 and the remainder is 1. 
so 11 divided by 2 can be written as so 5 is the whole number 5 plus 1 upon 2 right 1 upon 2 so I forgot to copy and paste the right side so I will do that now so we have this on the right side so we are almost there now we have 2 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 by 11 by 2 can be written as 5 plus half right 5 plus 1 by 2 now that is equal to the right side so I'll just have to copy and paste the right side part so here it is okay now you can see that the left side and the right side pretty much look the same isn't it we started from 37 by 13 and we made the left hand side look like this now we have to just compare as you can see here we have 1 here and we have x isn't it so x and 1 they are matching isn't it in the same way we have 5 over here and we have y so you can see 5 and y are matching in the same way we have 2 here we have 2 here and we have a z here okay so you can match both the sides and uh, we can write finally that x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to 2. By comparison, we have got these values. So this is the final answer for this question. So that was an elegant solution, right? So I hope all of you enjoyed the video. So for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos. See you in the next one.